Hi guys, welcome to Nothing Geek TV. This is your host Sajay Gupta. Today I have Cool Bang Note 3 in battle with Asus Zenfone 2 Laser. It's a fierce battle going on, very ferocious battle, and both the phones are just punching it out. So let's see which phones finally makes it. So friends, both the phones come with a 5.5 inch HD display. The touch is good enough on both of these devices. That is not a problem. The viewing angles are simply amazing and it is a treat to watch videos, watch movies and play games on these big displays. If we talk about any kind of protection on the screen, then Zenfone 2 Laser has the latest Corning Gorilla Glass 4 protection which is not present in Coolpad Note 3. So Zenpad, Zenfone 2 Laser is more safe from scratches, is more safe from any kind of falls. However, it can break. Now on the downside, the replacement of a Corning Gorilla Glass 4 display is much more expensive than a normal one. Talking about the build quality of these devices guys, both the phones are plastic. Uh, and if you look closely, then you can see the volume rocker button on Asus is present on the back side while it is present on the left hand side in Coolpad Note 3. And if I talk about power on a button, it is present on the right side of Note 3 whereas it is present on the top of the Zenfone Laser 2. Now it is a bit easy to operate these volume rocker and power on of button in Coolpad Note 3 since my thumb is present over here and my finger is present over here. Now using the volume rocker button is easy on Zenfone 2 laser but usually the power on of button is slightly difficult to hold as you have to move your hand upwards and then press it. So it is a plastic back plate. Both the phones have a plastic back plate. The battery is sealed in both the phones. It is non-removable and you can see there is a slot for inserting two sim cards and a micro sd card in both the handset guys so this is sim 1 sim 2 sim 1 sim 2 and i can put in a micro sd card as far as battery backup is concerned it's a 3000 milliamp hour battery on both of these devices which provide a battery backup of one day under moderate usage that is good enough another thing to show is that how the display of these phones come to life so I have a fingerprint sensor, it's a plastic fingerprint sensor but it works flawlessly. Uh, you can see I have configured my uh, this finger and uh, it comes to light, life immediately. Again I will do this, it came back to life immediately. So I touch it and it's on. It won't work with any other finger and you can you know synchronize up to three fingers, you can program up to three fingerprints to open different apps. On Azure's you have the double tap to unlock. So it works like this. Unlocking it via this key is pretty difficult. In order to check the performance friends, I ran NT2 benchmark on both of these devices and you can see Zenfone 2 Laser got a score of 23,290 uh, and Coolpad Note 3 got a score of 36,277. Now both the devices have an octa core processor. It's Qualcomm 4110 on uh, Asus Zenfone 2 Laser which doesn't heat up gives optimal performance but you can play heavy games at medium graphics settings and the good part is that Snapdragon 4110 and Zen UI are a perfect match and the device doesn't heat up even when you're watching videos or playing games for more than half an hour. In case of Coolpad Note 3 the device heats up just slightly but then it's not significant, the heating is not significant and I cannot detect any marks. The performance is top notch when it comes to heavy games and it can be your gaming device without any worries for the phone heating up. Uh, if we talk about regular tasks like sending emails, opening multiple tabs, minimizing one app and then opening another app or on two apps, multitasking, all this is good enough on both of these phones guys. Additionally, Coolpad Note 3 scores over Asus as it has more amount of total RAM on the system. So that is where the difference lies. You can see Coolpad has 2.8 GB of RAM free whereas Zenfone 2 Laser has only 531 MB of free RAM. 
and both of these phones are not running too much of uh, extra uh, ra external apps as of now so you can consider this as uh, the amount of free RAM on the first boot if I talk about the storage on these devices so you can see both the phones are 16 GB phones and let me just try to check for OTG one by one on these phones so first I'll try for Zenfone 2 laser I have checked earlier in its full review that it does support OTG so kindly hit the subscribe button if you haven't seen that so guys as you can see the phone has detected the OTG and it is showing me the total space and the available space now comes the turn off cool pad note 3 and it has a separate menu for the USB storage and it is also showing me the amount of total space and amount of available space so both the phones have support for all righty righty moving to the camera now I have a 13 megapixel rear camera on both the phones Zenfone 2 laser has a dual tone flash while there is only a single tone flash on the cool pad the front facing camera is 5 megapixel on both of these devices so I'll just unlock it I like this unlocking wire for the fingerprint and with double tapping on uh, the Zenfone now I'll show you the images I check the images in a variety of scenarios in, and in a variety of conditions and I reached some conclusion so I'll first talk about the selfie which I clicked using these devices guys so first thing that Zenfone can capture a wider image uh, you can see it has also captured a large amount of background and uh, more of my chest and more of my shoulders whereas cool part cannot capture a much wider image however the image get is more natural is more colorful and vivid in the cool pad note 3 as compared to not so natural uh, image on the Zenfone 2 laser the quality is good enough in both the photographs and if you are not about capturing a wide uh, angle uh, you know a wide range and a wide background then cool pad indeed does a good job if I talk about the rear camera guys now this is interesting this image was taken Let's talk about the flash so both the images were taken with flash on and they have come nicely again the cool part gives me more amount of natural color of this dog but Zenfone is giving me much more clarity much more clearness now this was the result with the flash off and the image appears uh, with more light in cool pad but Zenfone is giving me more amount of clarity but then again the difference is not major it's not significant nothing which can be really assessed by naked eye if you don't sit for say 5-10 minutes and uh, check these out properly so cool pad has a great camera and in one of the image it is performing even better than the Zenfone 2 laser now if you talk about the low light imaging guys uh, you can see cool pad is giving me a better image but then hey wait this image was taken at 3 megapixel uh, and because Asus camera all it automatically detects the low light and gives you the option in uh, term of the owl at the lower end of the screen and asks you to turn the low light mode on it then captures a really nice image there is no such mode on the cool bar note 3 and it makes use of flash high flash and it takes a little bit more time than the Zenfone 2 laser in clicking the image at complete 13 megapixel with flash on but the result is really good guys so if I talk about the camera no phone is behind other and uh, they perform solidly cool pad note 3 in some areas gives Zenfone a run for so its friends, money it was very close and intensely fallout battle and in the end guys uh, in a way both phones are the winners cool pad note 3 has lesser price it has simply amazing fingerprint sensor it works flawlessly and you can program up to three fingerprints in order to open the screen or open a specific app 3 gb of ram good camera battery is decent 
most importantly the device doesn't heat up and uh, the pricing is too sweet it really hits the sweet spot and if I talk about Zenfone 2 laser it provides me Corning Gorilla Glass 4 which is the first in this category the device again it doesn't heat up has a really good build quality the battery lasts for one day so if you're looking for a phone below 10,000 which has features of phones which cost above 20,000 or 30,000 then go for Coolpad Note 3 and if you want a slightly sturdier device then Zenfone 2 laser should be your pick hopefully I would have solved most of your queries I'll be coming out with more such cool videos more such cool reviews kindly hit the subscribe button and if you have any query kindly use the comment section I'll answer you personally have a great day guys see ya